this is the time of year kids get involved in sports. And if you have athletes in your household, they probably have pads to protect their bodies and their bones. But what are they doing to protect their eyes? Well, Dr. Kimberly Friedman is here with some suggestions. And apparently, we're not doing enough to protect our eyes. Is that right? Absolutely. There's two and a half million eye injuries each year. And suspected to be sports and recreation related. And what I'm so surprised at is the sports that you told me are the number one sports for causing eye injury. Maybe not baseball uh, that's such a surprise. Now that's 13 and under you were saying. Right. The younger kids, the number one cause is baseball. But overall, a huge majority of eye injuries that we see, basketball. Right here. And I wouldn't have thought basketball either. No way. The suspected uh, reason is that during basketball when you're jostling to get possession of the ball or rebounding, what happens is those elbows oh, go sure. flying and an elbow can go into the I, um, I even read that David Duchovny had permanent vision damage. The actor David Duchovny from a pickup basketball game, an elbow went in the eye and he lost some per permanent loss of vision in his right eye from that. So there you go. Even just an afternoon game of pickup, you have to think about your eyes. Let's talk, before we get into the other sports, let's talk about what happens. In his case, um, you know, it's probably an injury you see all the time. Right. The injuries can really range the gamut from mild corneal abrasions, uh, inflammation, redness, all the way up to the more serious problems. And the serious problems can be UV was a, which is an inflammation of the entire eye, retinal hemorrhages or detachments. But one of the most serious that we can see is actually a fracture in the bones right under the eye. We call that a blowout fracture. And when that occurs, the eye can actually sort of sink down into the space that the fracture is created. And the muscles become entrapped and then the eye can't move properly. A person will generally see double and will often need surgery afterward to repair that. That's a real serious one. And so what, what can we do to prevent it? Uh, we need to wear goggles, obviously. Right. Prevention is the key. The National Eye Institute says that 90% of these injuries are preventable, yet 90% of adults and 95% of children don't wear the protection. And uh, this apparently, women's lacrosse is the only sport you're saying that, ha right. that you have to wear eye protection. Right. U.S. That women's is so lacrosse surprising. mandates it, it's, but it's the only sport that mandates. There is some legislation pending to mandate it in other areas, but currently U.S. women's lacrosse is the only sport that mandates all right, so uh, other sports that maybe people take for granted that we should be careful? Tennis. Right, tennis. Any racket sport, basketball, of course, baseball, pretty much all the sports you can think of. Basically, the take-home is that dress glasses like this are not appropriate to wear during sports. They're not recommended. The lenses can shatter. The frames can shatter. You really need to go with the sports goggles. All right. Well, and these can be found everywhere, so we have no excuses, right? Right, prescription or non-prescription, either way. Dr. Friedman, thanks for coming in. It's always a really good reminder, George.